So today, I am going to show you how to speed up your PC or laptop so you never lag playing your favourite games. I can see that you guys found my previous video tutorial from two years ago quite helpful. So in this video, I have even more tips for you which will help you out 1000% and anyone can follow these steps in this video. This is gonna be a combination of what I do to speed up my PC and also all of the best tips from other videos on YouTube. So this is gonna be the ultimate guide. So if you guys do enjoy this video, liking it would help me out immensely and let's get straight into this. Now these tips will be perfect for those with a low end PC or laptop that struggle with really poor FPS frames per second and lag but please keep in mind if you have a pc that is so piss poor with a really old processor or gpu and running shitty windows xp then you might want to consider upgrading your system or buying a new one entirely this video works best for those with a low-end computer who want to get the most out of their system and enjoy the games they play without getting major lag and fps drops so let's get started with some of these tips. The very first thing we're going to do is go to where your hard drive is located, where it says this PC. You're going to select your main hard drive, which is most likely going to be your C drive, and you're going to right click on it and click properties. Now you're going to click tools and you're going to see an option that says optimize and defragment drive and you're going to select optimize and what you can do is select the drive you want to optimize you might have more than one and you click the optimize button now what this will do is defragment the drive and your pc might already be set up to do this but a lot of the time it's not and you should do this at least once a week if you use your pc quite often so now if we close this screen you will also see an option that says error checking. This is something you should do as well. It won't necessarily speed up your PC, but it's something you should do. Now, if we go back to general, there is something here called disk cleanup, which is very vital. If you select this, you will get this screen come up here. Now you want to select everything in here apart from your downloads, unless you want them to delete your downloads folder. But what you can do is select all of these options and then you can click OK and it will clear all the system files on your PC. It's not going to delete anything you need. It is temporary files and it just clears up some space on your PC. This is something you should do as well quite frequently if you didn't know about it already. Now if we do come out of that, I'm just going to show you the C drive again which is my main hard drive. Now what I would advise you doing is ensuring that you have at least 50% of space left on your hard drive. Now you might be thinking, why are you saying that when you don't even have 50% of space on your hard drive you dumbass? Well you're damn right there. I just haven't been able to transfer all of my stuff onto my external drive just yet but I am going to be doing that in the next few days. It's always good to have about 50% of free space on your hard drive. Now, if you don't have 50% of space left, the bar should be halfway here, not over halfway. What you can actually do is buy an external hard drive. But if you want to, you can delete your files to get 50% free space. Now, moving on to the next thing, and this is where it gets a bit interesting because not everybody knows about these next few steps. And they really will help improve your PC speed. If you press Control, Alt, Delete on your keyboard and then bring up Task Manager, if you now go into Startup, you're going to see the programs that will start up when your PC first boots. Now, most likely you're going to see a lot of programs in here which you actually don't use. This was the case for me where at least 50% of these I didn't use and I've even deleted a lot of them as well. So what you can actually do is select one of these, for example, iTunes, and you can right click and then select disable or enable. And this will make sure it doesn't boot up automatically when you first start your PC. It will also tell you the startup impact here as well. Now the next three steps are for those with a Windows 10 PC. So if you don't have Windows 10, you can skip ahead a little bit. If you do have Windows 10, you need to watch this because this is really important. And what we're going to do is press the start button and type in settings. Now type in apps in the search bar then default apps 
and then apps and features and you're going to see a list here of apps now a lot of these are going to be apps you didn't even know you had because windows 10 decides to install them for you without you even bloody knowing so what you want to do is remove all the apps you don't need so for example stuff like xbox live if you don't use xbox live on your pc you can uninstall that voice recorder tips print 3d whatever the hell that is people warlords piss you now i didn't install that there's going to be quite a few in here of course if there's something you're not sure about do a google search first before uninstalling it now if we go into offline maps here you also want to turn off these two things here as well because they will be enabled automatically most likely. And also if you click apps for websites and you turn these two things off here. Now let's go back to the home screen. And now let's type in privacy. Now as you do that, you want to go into privacy settings. Now what you want to do is deactivate all of these options here. And now you want to go into location and you can also deactivate this as well. And then you're going to see a list of apps once again. You can deactivate all of these. And now if you scroll down and you go to background apps, you now want to deactivate the background apps that you don't use. And once again, you're going to see a load in here which you didn't know about. I mean, bloody hell, we've got Warlords. War of Lords running in the background. I'll never use that damn thing. And now we're back to where it doesn't matter if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 8. Now what we can do is press the start button again. And let's type in control panel. And now we're going to search battery. Now click where it says power options. And now we're going to select change plan settings. And then click change advanced power settings. Now what you will see is a little box. And what you can do is click the drop down menu and select high performance. This is something that people don't know about as well. And if you click OK, your PC is now set up for high performance. OK, so the next thing is we're going to press the start button again and type in run. Press enter. You will see this little box appear. Now you're going to type in the percentage sign and then you're going to type in TEMP temp and then you're going to type in the percentage sign again and then press OK. Now you're going to see a ton of folders appear. Now, if you've never done this before, you're going to have loads and loads of folders here. And that's fine. So all you want to do is you want to click inside this gray box. On your keyboard, click Control and then A. And this will select every single file in this location. And then you're going to press the Delete button. And you might get this message. So just click the click box here and then select Skip. And as you can see, look, 1,300 items recycled. There's going to be absolutely loads if you've never done this before. And there we go. As you can see, some of them haven't deleted. That's because we've got Chrome open at the moment, but that's okay. And what that's actually done is deleted your temporary files. So this next step is quite a hefty one. It's not difficult to do, but it's going to make your PC a lot faster. It will make your PC look slightly worse depending on how many settings you want to disable. And you will see what I mean in just a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where we were earlier, this PC. And you're going to right click on this PC and then select properties. Now you're going to get this screen that pops up which shows you your specs and whatnot. And now click advanced system settings. And then where it says performance, select settings. And this screen here is so important. Not everybody knows about this, but this will improve the speed of your PC so much. Now, if you clicked adjust for best performance, your PC will run a lot better than it did before. However, it's going to look like shit. And what I mean by that is graphically, your Windows interface won't look as good as it did before because it's going to turn off things like the shadows. If you're not bothered about that, I would advise doing this because it's going to improve the effort. FPS and everything in your game so much. If you want to speed up your PC but you don't want it to look like utter shit, then what I would advise you doing 
is selecting the first option here and I would turn off the settings that I've actually turned off here. So if you copy my settings here and select apply, your PC won't look too bad and it's gonna perform a lot better. Okay, so the final few things here that you can do to improve your PC is when you are playing a game, what you should do is press Control alt delete on your keyboard, open up task manager again, close any programs that you aren't currently using. Stuff like Chrome, you should definitely end because this take up quite a bit of memory when you're running it as you can see right here and what you can also do is turn off any of the other programs that you see on this screen just before you boot up your game so once your game has booted up make sure this screen is still running and you'll see your game appear in here what you should now do is click on the game right click on it go to details right click again set priority and then click above normal. You don't really wanna put it on high because the game might crash, but above normal is just right. And that's it guys. Those are all the tips that are gonna improve your PC 1000%. Let me know in the comments your experience with doing all the steps in this video, and also comment below your PC specs, whether they suck or if they're insane. Make sure you leave a comment down below. So if you guys did find this video informative, liking the video would help me out immensely. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel for all the best gaming content. And I will see you guys in my next video.